The Flow Toys are probably the most fun just to goof around with. The fact that all of them can be connected to the same group and a single button press can flip them through the different modes. Super fun, super convenient. Them reacting to the different things that you're doing. Super neat as a person juggling. Like, it's fun to look at what they're doing. Like, I'm, I've got a smile on my face just goofing around with them. These are not something that are just going to work all of the time. You will have to fiddle with them, but it's mostly going to be uh, user error is going to be your problem with them, is you not understanding quite how to use them. There is a learning curve to these. Oh, because it's connected to the app. Got it. <laughs> you will be using the booklet that it comes with, or you'll have the PDF of this on your phone, and you will be referring to it at least the first 20 times that you turn them on. Or at least I was, and I still do have to refer back to the booklet. Uh, something like quick grouping them, where from off, you have to hold down the button for 10 seconds and keep on holding it until it flashes white and ignore everything else that it's doing. Wait until it flashes white, then it's ready to quick group. Then you move on to the next one until it turns white after that 10 or 12-ish seconds. Then you move on to the next one, get that one in the group after 10 or 12-ish seconds of holding down the button. So if you've got like five or seven or whatever props that you're all quick grouping together that can take a little, little bit of time but the fact that you can do it super fun and uh, if someone else has some flow toys whatever quick grouping it with their stuff is super fun to play with the fun factor on flow toy stuff is super high they last about six hours at whatever that default brightness is for them I think that it's super reasonable uh, to charge them. You have to push the capsule out of it, which is a little bit of a pain to do. So as you push out one side, you gotta push the button side until it pushes that out, and then you can get your little mitts around it, pull it out. Then on the side there is where that charging port is. Uh, I like that that charging port is recessed inside of the ball here. That means that uh, there's less chance of that port corroding or getting junk in it at, or, or anything else. All the other juggling balls, their charging ports are exposed, which means that at some point that port will get junk in it or rust or otherwise, I mean, it's exposed to damage whereas these ones are recessed. Uh, I like that, that's nice. If you are getting these juggling balls, I do not think that you should get them without the bridge. The bridge is another device that will let you connect these or some other Flow Toys props to their app. It's a little bit of a pain to set it up every single time. It's a little bit of a pain. Uh, you're probably gonna see me have some errors setting it up right now, let's try it. So first, plug in the bridge to a battery or any active USB port, plop it in there, you'll see the light turn on. So that's on and ready for me to connect it to my phone. So Flow Toys app, then one of these says connect, right? Connect, it's the one at the bottom, obviously. Connect now, I found it right away. Connected to bridge. So I've got to let this know that these exist by pushing the button, it knows that they exist. And push five times to connect. Oh, did I really? 
Did I? Is that connected? That's connected. Oh my gosh, that is the, that's literally the first time that I've done that first try. Oh my gosh, that's so nice. That's the first time that I've done that. Uh, I probably connected to this app 50-ish times, and that's the first time that I've just got it to connect first try. The having to push the button five times quickly, usually like my thumb will like become upset with me and I will like miss click one of the clicks or like it'll do a long push or something. Five times quickly is too many times quickly to connect to something in my opinion. Uh, I know that you have other modes that are like double press or whatever or long press. There's like a million things that are in the long press. Uh, pushing the button five times quickly to connect to the app is something that I personally normally struggle with a lot. Uh, but now that we are connected to the app, we can just immediately see all the modes without having to refer to the paperwork of all of the modes. Uh, so just immediately click on rainbow, we're on rainbow, click on lantern, we're on lantern, click on earth, we're on earth, maybe. It's thinking about it. Oh, I was clicking on the wrong spot, maybe. Uh, playing with these with the app is super fun. And giving the app to someone else, like someone who can't juggle, it makes them feel like they're part of the performance that's happening. Highly recommend. Very fun. Uh, that's also, for me, the main selling point in the app other than being able to immediately switch through the modes and pick which mode that you're on with one button push, uh, is the shows. So I'm just going to show you a small portion of something that I made as an example. It takes a lot of time invested, but the result that you get out is good. Uh, it takes time, for me at least, because of my fat thumbs on that timeline. So I'm trying to like get a sort of exact little push on the screen and my thumb is just fat and stupid so I'm pushing the wrong spot because of my fat thumb on the stupid screen. But if you're patient and maybe if your phone had more accurate button presses or if you're more accurate at pushing your screen than I am, you may have a much easier time working on that timeline than I have. Uh, the end result, I like. Uh, sometimes a ball will be lagging behind in the show. That's something that maybe I did wrong. Maybe it's something in the firmware. Maybe it's the fact that the app is still in beta. It is a beta app. Uh, but for it being a beta, uh, it's, it crushes it. Uh, it's the first one that's doing something where a moron end user like myself can be making a, a light show sort of easily, not having to use some other janky third party thing to get something to finally work. Overall, I love these. I think that the price is extremely steep, especially if these are going to be the first set of 90 millimeter juggling balls that you get. A friend of mine can't hold three balls in her hand. Like, she could hold them like that, but as soon as she moves her hand in any direction, uh, one of the balls will go shooting off because her hands are just too small for that size. You need to make sure that you are comfortable and you like juggling 90 millimeter before you invest in these. 70 bucks per ball is really steep way to find out that you don't actually like something that that 
is uh, that size. So try out a friend's for a few weeks or uh, get something else that's 90 millimeters, juggle it for a while, see how it feels. These are the most fun, in my opinion. These are the ones that I am most likely just to pick up and start goofing around with for the fun different colors and modes. Uh, the fun factor is super high on these. As a toy, 10 out of 10. As a performing object, uh, it's extremely good, but uh, it's in beta, the bridge is, so you're, you are going to have to play with it to get it to work. It's not just a pull it all out of the box and you will get it functioning first time. You will get it functioning, but it will not be uh, without some trial and error, which the app is in beta. Take a deep breath. You're going to get it. It's fun. Uh, overall, yeah, I recommend buying these. These are, these are great uh, for a performer or for a casual person. I wish that there was a way to uh, live change it, change the modes to the music. So just push play on the music and then ha uh, be able to pick out of a box which one I want it to change to next so I don't need to spend 40 minutes reading the wave form maybe just be able to push play on the song and then push buttons for what I want to be happening. Uh, Cause you can, with the uh, K8, you can definitely do that with the remote. As it is, I definitely do recommend these and I recommend playing with the beta app provided that you have the mountain of money to invest in these. Uh, they're not scamming you. You're you're getting a good value. It's just the value that you get is a lot. Uh, yeah, that's it. Bam.